Okay, I'm doing a video of streaming Steam to my Dell Venue Pro tablet using Windows 10. As you can see, this is Steam on my main computer. And this is my Dell Venue Pro tablet using Windows 10. With the latest build, that's 10074. Alright. As you can see, that is build number 10074. Okay, so let's just try pulling up one small app for testing one small game sorry like say Shadowrun okay that should more than work Shadowrun return stream as you can see the option is to stream now this is playing over the network this is not playing off the tablet itself okay pulling up Perfect, right? As you can see, it's on the main PC and it's on the tab. All right, continue. And I'm using the mouse for the tablet. This is connected via a wireless keyboard, solo keyboard, and a wireless mouse. All right, loading. Taking a bit of a while. And boom, works perfectly. So you're running really smooth too. Okay, I'm not really going to play this because it's a story mission, but I just want to know if it is working. And it is working flawlessly. So, that's just to show you Steam streaming from PC to tablets, which works perfectly on Steam. Now we want to get really creative. Come out of this. Exit. Uh, just to show you streaming across the tablet and now this is not there are no wires connected i can carry this outside the only wire connected is for my usb hub for my keyboard and mouse all right if i wanted to i can carry this outside and play or whatever now let's get really creative i'm on the xbox one here switching inputs boom all right as you can see this is the wireless display app what i'm going to do here I'm going to stream tablet to the Xbox One directly using the wireless app, new wireless display app. Okay, so I'm going to go here, go into Media Connect in Windows 10, switching for devices. See, Xbox device comes up, click on it. Connecting and boom, connecting to Colin tablet on the Xbox One. Pulls up and presto. Now my tablet is streaming to the Xbox One. So whatever I'm doing on the tablet can be done on the Xbox One. Alright, so click here. Project Spartan or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. See? Desktop. So, now let's try Steam on the Xbox One. Just to show you. Boom. Boom. Alright? That's perfectly. Now let's get really creative. Let's try streaming a game again. Same shadow run using this game because it ha it's pretty easy on the specs I don't know how heavy a game will work, I'm not going to try GTA and boom, it works what is the input delay like? actually it's pretty good can't complain this is a kind of makeshift alternative to playing games outside if I needed to. There is an input delay but it's not game breaking or anything. Very good for, very good for an isometric RPG like this. Alright, coming back out. Exit the main menu and quit.
right? Perfect. It looks great. One other thing I did is I have Cody that we update to XBMC. Right? I'm running that as a shortcut on Steam. As you know, any shortcut that's hooked into Steam will work. And it can stream across the network as well. So Cody connected. Stream. And boom. Perfect. On tab. Perfect on Xbox One. Just to show you again. On the Xbox One. Now let's try. Music, movies, TV shows. Okay, 12 monkeys. I got my got kill. Try one quick anime episode. Works perfectly. As you can see. Very, very almost unnoticeable input lag. Okay, that's an anime. So you could say that's okay. That's just anime, shouldn't give any trouble. Let's try an actual TV show. Arrow. Perfect. See? Do you know what an advanced healthcare directive is? Just to show you again. So that's Cody showing on the Xbox One through a pass through through streaming from Steam to tablet. Some miracles. The ER doctor right. asked me if you had one. Okay, stopping. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that is streaming within a stream. Okay, I just don't know. Okay, and that's it. Pretty much. Okay, thank you for watching my vid. If you like this video, or if you have any recommendations, please like and subscribe. Okay, thank you.